Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to show you how to translate fingerstyle riffs into rhythm guitar riffs using a pick. Uh, I already showed you uh, a kind of a similar concept with electric guitar playing, with electric guitar riffs, how to translate them well into rhythm guitar, acoustic rhythm guitar. So now we're going to do the same with fingerstyle. So um, what do I mean by translating fingerstyle riffs? I mean things that you can play with a pick only, okay? Things you need your fingers uh, to play, just like Dust in the Wind or, uh, let's say, Stairway to Heaven, even. Now, the concept here is to be creative, okay? To be creative in your translation. And the, um, the thing is that it depends on your own style because um, your translation won't necessarily sound good to everyone. Okay? You, you might not like what I do with these songs in this lesson, but you don't have to do the same thing. I want to show you the concept of how to take fingerstyle riffs and turn them into rhythm guitar playing. So let's start with that. Let's start with Dust in the Wind. So Dust in the Wind, you have, uh, you have, the, okay? you have the Travis picking, you have the... Okay? You have this. You all know it, um, and if you don't, I have a lesson for it, so go learn it uh, later. Now, you have uh, A minor, right? You have A minor, okay? Then you have A sus2, okay? Zero on the second string, A sus4, three on the second string, and then back to A minor, okay? And then you have C with the same sequence starting with zero. So it's zero, three, one, zero, and then the same thing with A minor, okay? starting with three. So um, what can you do with it? It's simple. You just play a country rhythm because it's Travis picking. Travis picking is a country rhythm. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and add these notes to your picking. So I would do something like this. so on and so forth. Now, you might not like this per se, but you can take this example and find your own expression for it. That's the beauty of music. We can all be creative and find our own style. So the, um, the rhythm pattern is a country rhythm pattern. Okay? Just bass and then the chord and then down, up, down, up. Okay? So kind of imitates the feel of the Travis picking. Now, some of you might say that it doesn't, and that's fine, okay, that's fine. Okay, if you don't like it, play something else, but that's what came to me, okay? Now, because you have the, okay, you have the, the lick, um, you have to insert it somewhere, right? And if you do it on the down strum, it doesn't sound that good. sounds stuck. It sounds as if you're trying to imitate the finger style, which is, which is your purpose, but you don't want to sound as if you're imitating. You want to translate it. You want to arrange it. So I play it on the up strum, okay? Just like I showed you on the how to solo while playing rhythm, how to simultaneously solo while playing rhythm. That's the trick, to play the solo on the up strum, on the up stroke. So... Okay? right before the next beat, okay? So it's bass, chord, down, up, down, up, okay? And the last upstroke is the next note. So one, zero, three, one, okay? And then the C chord starts with zero, right? So zero, three, one, zero. And then A minor starts with three. And C starts with one. Okay? And there you have it, you translated the song. And so on and so forth. 
What can you do with Stairway to Heaven, right? The ultimate finger style song, right? What can you do? Okay, the ultimate, you can call it the penultimate finger style song. And yeah, the dog grunts because he's tired of hearing Stairway to Heaven. Um, so, um, you, you might say that the ultimate finger style song is uh, Nothing Else Matters, which I'm gonna show you after we do Stairway to Heaven. So again, be creative, have fun with the song. So you can, okay, you can pick it, of course, but then how can you do this, okay? Without using a finger, just strum it, okay? And then you get a beautiful chord, okay? So, okay, you can do this. Okay, I know that, it, I know that you need to have the four on the D string, but, I like the D chord here because I'm not playing the song, I'm playing an arrangement of it, a, a translation of it. Okay, or okay, you can add the bar to it. So um, you can also play it like this. Okay, and maintain the original rhythm. But I want you to play around with it. I want you to have fun with the music. So I slid into the first note and then, okay, I played another note, then uh, strum. Okay, and then I played the bass notes. Okay, descending. Okay, I did it with the next chord. Okay, and then you can slide. Okay, you can vibrate the chord. Have fun. Don't don't be afraid of making noise. Okay, you can be dramatic. Okay, you can you can express yourself using the song. Okay, and the the, the, the same goes for the rest of it. Okay, you can you can take the bass notes and then strum. Okay, you don't have to do you don't have to do the the A minor lick at the same time that the original song does that the original player does that Jimmy Page does uh, so because the song doesn't do anything the player does You can even add your own licks to it, okay? Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because from mistakes comes great music, okay? All great music uh, started by a mistake, okay? All the, 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 those outside sounds, all those weird chords, they were all accidental. Everything in music that's really, really good was first accidental, okay? That's, uh, I, I stick by it. That's my opinion and I stick by it. So, that's how you can play Story to Heaven. What about Nothing Else Matters? Okay, of course, okay, you can start with the three, two, zero on the sixth string, then you have E minor. Okay, you can play the chord with three on the E string, okay, the whole chord. Okay, you can arpeggiate any notes you want. Okay. Okay, you can add three on the second string as well. Okay, and then, you can just strum and then play D and then you can do okay you can do any lick you want within that D chord okay as long as you have the feel of the song you don't have to play the song precisely as it's presented okay, you can play it in your own style you can take the song and you can have the song inspire you to do something else. Okay? And just play the chords. So, it's all up to your dynamics. Okay, and then, yeah, you have the C. Okay, just C, down, up, and then play the bass again. Of course, much, much slower. Okay, 
you can also do seven if you want. Okay, G and B seven. Okay, just the chords. Um, you don't. It doesn't have to be fancy to be beautiful. So that's my take on translating fingerstyle licks and riffs, no pun intended, sorry, uh, into uh, um, acoustic rhythm guitar. And I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now go have fun with your instrument. Bye for now. Enjoy.